Hi, my name is Demi Giwatulosu, and I'm the founder and CEO of Life Bank. Uh, Life Bank helps uh, medical supply, medical providers find the essential medical products that they need. Uh, there's like blood, asthma, platelets, oxygen, vaccines. Uh, we supply directly to the hospital. Uh, we have a tech platform that helps us to discover this product that they need, and we move it to them in the right condition as well. I was so excited uh, when Lola mentioned that I was going to be hosting the Women Overcoming Barriers panel. I am so passionate about women. Uh, that's been uh, my life's work. And I've known about Samira previously, mainly because of her work with the Samira Sanusi Foundation. I didn't know her story. I actually didn't know she was a warrior um, as well. So I was really excited that, of course, immediately started Googling Miriam <laughs> to find out what she's done. When I got the books about, I think, a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, I was so thrilled to start reading. I just delved deeply into it. I'm a crier, so I spent the whole time just crying <laughs> copiously. And um, of course, uh, Bonnie Black is hilarious. Uh, Nadia was sort of, um, yeah, you know, she, she was just like spicy, funny, sarcastic person. So I really enjoyed reading that book and I of course enjoy reading S or Survivor because it was such a powerful story. Powerful story of strength, of grace, of um, of anger, which I think was deserved. Um, and I just fell in love with the story. When I met them I was just like, oh my god, uh, you're celebrities in my eyes because the stories were so powerful and I learned so much from it. Um, I learned about, you know, no matter what, what I think I'm facing, uh, to face my day with grace and, and to be to be to find strength in, in the in the most unexpected places. Um, and then also to look at women a little bit different. Um, Samira is very small, <laughs> very tiny. But she has so much power in, in that you know small package. And it's taught me not to sort of look at people and think that I know them and to be curious about the human experience and everyone's story because everyone has a powerful and incredible story. And the two women I want to talk to today are the best, the best women, the most graceful, the most passionate, the most strong um, people that I have ever uh, chatted with. And, and it's been you know, the privilege of my life to talk to them. It's a really good story. A lot of people, a lot of warriors, often need to change their blood, right? So every blood in their body is removed and they transfused fresh blood, right? So a lot of times they actually die because they couldn't get the blood they need on time, right? And of course the, the, the disease comes with anemia and a lot of people get anemic and they need blood transfusion to leave. So part of what I do at Life Bank is to ensure that uh, warriors have access to the essential medical products that they need, like blood and plasma and things. Uh, and to make that available when it's needed. Um, of course, it's also started got me thinking about having a you know a bone marrow you know donation platform. I don't know how that will work, but I started thinking about it from a conversation with her today. So if there's a cure, how do we figure out how to get it to the most people, especially women and, and girls and children? Um, how do we get it to them quickly and, and cost effectively? And how do we make sure that um, this is the gift that Nigeria gives to the world? Uh, bone marrow transplants and a cure for sickle cell disease. Just having this story and, and talking to these women and, and hearing this, even not just the panel, not just the Women Overcoming Barriers panel, but all the panels have been fantastic. And I realized that it's because women were speaking. Uh, for example, yesterday you had this. Um, Four powerful another women, you know, speaking truth to power with an audience of majority men, young men, and you have this majestic women, four of them, just speaking the truth and telling their story. I was so, you know, I was so impressed and, and proud to be in the audience and, and, and to, to, to view that. And I think that's what Kawafes has done, uh, give women. And I think of this. I don't know what Antonola thinks, but I just feel like this is the festival that celebrates women. <laughs> and, and that's all I got from it, and, and it's been incredible, completely incredible being here.